Okay, today we're going to talk about uh, how to get into background play mode in Flycast. A lot of people have asked this question. It's a little confusing, uh, but once you get it, you get it. It's, uh, it's not too difficult. So what we're going to do is start by picking a station. We'll use the, the 3G Wi-Fi guide. I'm set up on 3G here. Let's pick 80s, and we'll pick 80s Shuffle. And this is, a, I believe, an Accu radio station. Station's gonna start playing a load up. Uh, I think everybody's familiar with this part. Let's turn the station down. <clears throat> and you see it's playing station, but this is quick play mode. So right now, if I were to exit the application, it would exit and nothing would be playing in the background. So how do we turn it on? Let's go to settings. In order to get to background play mode, you have to turn off quick play mode. So let's turn that off. It'll ask us if we want to stop the current station. Say OK. And you've stopped it. Now black background play mode has been enabled. So let's go back to the guide. Pick, let's just pick a different station for no particular reason. And now this will take maybe, you can see the activity is taking place uh, on the top. It's going to take about 15 seconds to set up the station in background play mode. It's it's going to go through some gyrations between uh, Safari and uh, uh, the QuickTime player in the background, and then uh, it'll go back into the main application. Start playing the so start playing the stream. Go back into the main application, and then you will be. Let's see. So it's playing in background play mode right now. It's back to the player. And you can see, cool, right? I exit. And you can see I can go use another application. I can go use another application, still playing in the background. Okay, so that's background play mode, pretty straightforward. Uh, the times you would want to use it is when you're going to play one station for a while and you're going to use your maps or your calendar, your contacts, um, your calculator. Uh, you don't need to use it when you want to use the web because we do have an embedded web browser inside the application. So that's background play mode, pretty straightforward. Uh, every time you want to switch stations, you will go through those 10 or 15 seconds of change and then you'll have the iPhone available for your use. By the way, I should tell you that there's a couple of ways to exit background play mode. Uh, once you go back into Flytunes, Flycast, you'll see that the song is still playing, but the player doesn't load. So you can't go to the now playing area now. Uh, it, so if you go into end background play mode this way, you can go to settings and turn on quick play, or you can pick a different station, and it will now load this station and replace the station that's currently playing. That's one way to exit background play mode. So the station's gonna load now, and then you'll still be in back background play mode with a different station. Uh, another way to exit background play mode is by going into Safari and clicking on the Done button in the QuickTime player. And I'll demonstrate that in one second after we get back to this new station. So the station's loading up that I just asked to play. It'll load it, it'll start playing it. Playing. Exit, still playing, go to Safari, and you can see QuickTime is in the background. Click on Done, and you can see you have Return to Flycast to start the station again. Return to Flycast will take you back. Again, if you want to use quick play mode, if you don't want to go through these gyrations because you don't need to use other applications in the background, just go to settings, turn on quick play mode. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.